Last time you saw me, I was in Copenhagen. <laughs> what a city. I honestly did not want to leave, but it was just too expensive there. So I'm now heading to a different country. It has the largest economy in Europe, and it's the home to the biggest beer festival in the world. That's right, I'm heading to Germany. So I've actually been to Germany before. I visited Dusseldorf, Cologne, and Frankfurt. So on the west side of Germany. So I thought this time I'll visit East Germany, including Berlin. Welcome to Berlin, the local time is 2.45. Please remain seated so you can see more fast and double fast signal signs have been switched on. We're here. Although I landed in Berlin, I'm not actually staying here today. I think that's the train right there. Oh, wow, this is nice, massive. Awesome. I've just checked and apparently this is the largest railway station in Europe. Welcome to Leipzig. Throughout its history, Leipzig has been the scene for seismic battles, epic debates, and peaceful revolution. The Battle of the Nations took place just outside the city. The debate between Martin Luther and Johann Eck also took place here in Leipzig. And the peaceful revolution that eventually led to the fall of the Berlin Wall started here in Leipzig. I will tell you more about those events later, so stay with me and let's explore Leipzig together. So the debate between Johann Eck and Martin Luther took place in that building there, at least part of it, because I think they took down the original building, except for that top part. Let's see if we can go in. Martin Luther, the Protestant reformer, risked his life arguing passionately for the Catholic Church reform here in this building back in 1519. The debate was centered around Martin Luther's denial of the Pope's authority and declared the scripture alone to be the basis of authority. The Pope did not like that and threatened Martin Luther of excommunication from the Catholic Church. The church on my side, just there, is St. Thomas Church and Sebastian Bach is buried here. But I think they're not open until later in the day, so I might come back here later. Back. Bach was the pianist here between 1723 to 1750. So behind me is St. Nicholas Church. This church is quite significant, not just for Leipzig, but for the whole of Germany. Prayer sessions are held here every Monday since 1982, and in 1989, the Monday prayer turned into peaceful protest known as Monday demonstrations. It culminated in almost 70,000 peaceful protesters gathered in revolt against the communist regime. The peaceful revolution eventually led to the fall of Berlin Wall. So this is a market square. The main market square is a central point in Leipzig and is often called as the heart of the city. So this must be their main street. I love it when the main street is pedestrianized. It's a lot easier to walk around. A 
and just off the main street is their opera house, which looks massive. This was built during the communist time. So I'm just making my way to the west side of the city and I come across this really nice park, massive, so green, so peaceful. And if you like the smell of garlic, then you'd love it here because the park is full of wild garlic. So I'm now in the western part of the city in an area called Plagwitz. Um, Reddit recommended this place, <laughs> but I'm not sure if I'm liking the vibe here. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna head back to the city center. So I didn't really see anything interesting in Plugbits. <laughs> I think the walk towards Plugbits was more interesting than Plugbits itself. So yeah, so it's more of like a journey rather than a destination kind of thing. So I'm gonna head out to the monument of the Battle of the Nations and uh, just like a train ride away. Well, here in front of me is a monument to the Battle of the Nations or Battle of Leipzig and it's the largest war memorial in Europe. The Battle of Leipzig or the Battle of the Nations was the largest battle in Europe prior to World War I. Okay, let's go in. This commemorates the 110 men who died at the Battle of Leipzig. This was one of the most decisive battles in the Napoleonic Wars and a victory for the coalition of Russian, Austrian, Prussian and Swedish armies, which forced Napoleon Bonaparte into exile and ended his imperial ambitions in Europe. So I took another lift, like maybe two levels up, and then now, here, it's a view viewing platform. You got it, yeah? Right at the top. The view from here is no different from the view down there. And <laughs> it's quite windy. Also, it takes a lot for us to get here. I have to go up like almost 200 steps. I know this is a secular building, but it feels almost religious mainly because of the towering statues and the stained glass windows.
I've been to a lot of war memorials before, but I have to say this one here is the most epic of them all. Like honestly, if you're in Leipzig, never, never leave without visiting this place. If you do have enough time, I encourage you to visit the Contemporary History Museum here in Leipzig. The actual sign from the Checkpoint Charlie is not actually in Berlin, but it's here in this museum. Leipzig is also famous for being the birthplace and home to several of history's greatest composers. Johann Sebastian Bach, Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdi, and Robert Schumann, they all lived in Leipzig. And Richard Wagner was born here. Also, one of Germany's greatest literary figures, Goethe, wrote Faust here in Leipzig. Faust is arguably the greatest piece of German literature ever to exist. So, there must be something in the water here if they produce that much talent for a city this size. Or maybe it's under beer. Frost. I will see you in the next one. Kitakets, or as you say here in Germany, bis später.